Hi everyone, my name is Byron Tang, and today I want to talk about President Biden's choice for Transportation Secretary, Pete Buttigieg. In this video, I'm going to give my perspective on why Pete Buttigieg stands out from the other former presidential candidates and why he would be a potentially great Transportation Secretary. Before I start, I should give a little bit about his background. Pete Buttigieg was a Democrat Party presidential candidate in 2020. He was running until he dropped out to now President Biden. He's a former mayor of South Bend, Indiana, a city with a population of over 100,000 people. He was also mentioned by the media to be the first gay cabinet member to serve a president. Although that's a historical achievement, that's not really what I want to talk about today. I want to focus on transportation. Now I'm going to talk about, in my opinion, why Pete Buttigieg stands out as U.S. Secretary of Transportation. There were two things in Pete Buttigieg's infrastructure plan that really stood out on the transportation side. The first thing is his talk about national Vision Zero policy. A little background, Vision Zero started in Sweden and had the goal of reducing traffic fatalities and severe injuries to zero. It proposed the main way to save lives and reduce serious traffic injuries was the lower speeds, as higher speeds correlate with a higher rate of traffic fatalities and severe injuries. Today, Vision Zero is now popular in Europe and has made its way to many U.S. cities. Personally, I think this is the future and you're going to see many other cities take up Vision Zero. And what really surprised me was that Pete Buttigieg mentioned this as a candidate. But just mentioning Vision Zero is part of the challenge, because many people see it as something that would increase congestion. This is partially true, because a lot of times in transportation, if you think of it as a spectrum, there's one side where you have safety, and then there's one side where you have efficiency. And sometimes if you want things to be very efficient, you have to sacrifice safety for that to happen. And in the reverse, if you want to make transportation more safe by slowing down vehicles, you also hurt efficiency. So one of the challenges he will have to face is how can he communicate this new way of thinking to Americans. It's refreshing to see a candidate who shares views with many transportation professionals and is willing to be forward thinking. The second thing that really makes Pete Buttigieg stands out is he's willing to tackle the hard funding problems. As a presidential candidate, he had the goal of making the Highway Trust Fund solvent. Not only that, he took it further. One of the ways he intends on doing that is by tackling the gas tax problem. The problem with the gas tax is as time has gone by, vehicles have gotten a lot more fuel efficient. The gas tax itself is a major way that roads are funded and repaired. Some states have taken measures to update their gas tax, while the federal gas tax rate has remained the same. Transportation agencies funding will dip. As time goes by and more electric vehicles and fuel efficient vehicles are used, funding from the gas tax will get even lower. So one way to temporarily fix this is to raise the gas tax. But what will happen then? It will encourage people to use gas-dependent vehicles even less, which will cause the gas tax to further fall. And then you're back at the same problem. B. Buttigieg has stepped in and has proposed that vehicle miles traveled, or VMT, be used as replacement to the gas tax. Like the gas tax, Taxing VMT is a consumption-based tax. The challenge that Pete Buttigieg will have in communicating the benefits of this kind of tax would be how do you measure VMT practically? You need to charge people based on VMT, but how do you practically measure VMT? It becomes controversial because there is an element of privacy. Does your vehicle track where you are and where you drive? The gas tax problem and the whole debate regarding VMT can now potentially become on the forefront of the transportation topics in this country. And whether you agree or not agree with using VMT, I feel it's a good sign that Pete Buttigieg is willing to bring it up and tackle the real problems that are facing our transportation infrastructure. There are other challenges that Pete Buttigieg will have to face as the Secretary of Transportation. Because of the pandemic, many transit services are really hurting. Things like subway, bus, light rail, and train are seeing ridership levels never seen before. How will you address the issue of transit, especially if the people who use it the most are the ones who also could be struggling the most. In conclusion, Pete Buttigieg has the potential to be a great Secretary of Transportation. This is due to his forward thinking and willingness to face tough problems. It will be very interesting to watch how his time as Secretary of Transportation goes, and I'm sure to watch closely of any updates. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you like what you watch and you want to get notifications of similar videos in the future. This is Byron. See you next time.